Hello everybody and welcome to Sexy Astrology for the month of August 2014. I'm doing my best to catch up. I just moved to Ithaca and this is me in my new chamber of secrets. Um, uh, it feels like a, a birdhouse up here. It's really kind of like I feel like I'm up in a tree because I'm really high up in the air and there's lots of trees around my house. I love it. And anyway, this is the best I can do. Bear with me. I know there's going to probably be sync issues. I can see it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, hello everybody from Sexy Astrology for August 2014. Yes, it's the Pride versus Humility Month. Loyalty, the interpersonal relationships, and the law. It's also the month of the heart. Leo rules the heart. And as you may know, Jupiter is now entering Leo, which means anything that involves public image, um, dealing with matters that would affect your ego in public. Um, it's really good to stay close to your inner self and true to yourself as opposed to getting into flamboyant, kind of flagrant types of trouble. Um, the, the advent of Libra, of, um, Leo, um, Jupiter in Leo is also encouraging us to explore matters of the heart and romance in general for the entire population, what it means to us to really connect intimately and what it means to us to be kind of, you know, dating or, or whatever. It also, Leo also rules fashion so and the color red, so it is a good time to really, um, you know, look at what really fits you the right way way as well the law is coming up because honestly the in conjunction between leo jupiter and pluto and capricorn would point to legal matters and really significant legal issues for other people not necessarily yourself might be coming up in the world so keep an eye out for that and also uh, it's a really good time to have a um, kind of a uh, class action lawsuit. I don't know where I'm getting that information, but if there was a time when a bunch of people needed to get together to kind of fight the system or knock it out from the inside, now is a good time for that. And certainly... The Hello, dear Virgo from Sexy Astrology. Ha! Yeah, so you and your Scorpio buddies really so do love to sit back and chuckle at people less fortunate than you. But sweetie, if you're not careful, your cruel gossip could sneak up and bite you in the ass. Yes, Mercury in Virgo coming into the 11th house for you would indicate that there could be trouble with, you know, either how you communicate or the types of company you're keeping. And generally, I can't even complain about work shit, Virgo. Your, your shit is just all sewn up at work. You have no problems there. But socially, I could see you getting into trouble. Admit it. 